Listen to this. There are more than 11,000 deaths a year due to drunk driving. And our next guest says these deaths, they are 100 percent preventable and they have to plan to help stop that. This is Jason Fraser. He's from Arizona State Executive Director of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. This is Jennifer Thompson, whose daughter was killed by a drunk driver. They're both here to talk about a very special partnership with Waymo. Great to have both of you with Thank us you. today. I want to first start about this mission. What is this mission, Jason, and, and what are you all doing to get people to pay attention to those numbers? That's a great question. Um, thank you for having us here first and foremost. And you mentioned it. It's a 100% preventable. That's the number one piece of our mission is that people know that. There are so many plans in place, so many different options out there that there really is no excuse. And really, in a nutshell, what we look at is saving lives, getting impaired drivers off the road, and supporting victims of this horrible, violent crime. Right, 11,000 um, nationally, but here in Arizona, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's scary. It, it's scary, and we saw an increase last year, actually. Um, typically, we're seeing around 250 to 300 deaths. Last year, it increased to over 400. And we're talking injuries as well, thousands of injuries. And Jennifer, you are the face sadly, of one of those statistics. In 2007, a drunk driver shattered your life. What happened and how have you turned that tragedy into interventions? So May 5th, 2007, my 15-year-old daughter was killed by two impaired drivers, one of them who was 17 years old. Mm. And since then, I've become stronger, um, partly because I'm mad. But to keep her life and legacy alive, I talk about her, I educate, I'm an advocate, I support victims, I'm there for the people that are going through this. Um, this is just my way of keeping her life and legacy alive and mm -hmm. healing and taking those steps, partnering with Waymo mm -hmm. to educate the community on ways to prevent this from happening. Absolutely, and it's a, it's a call no parent ever wants to get and in my heart breaks, literally, uh, for you. But you are moving the pendulum in a new direction, and this partnership uh, between MAD and Waymo, let's talk about it, it's called, <laughs> that's what it's called, let's talk self-driving. Absolutely, it's, a, it's an incredible partnership um, that we were so happy to jump on board in 2017. Uh, to educate the public and really one of MAD's prongs that we have um, that we support is technology. Uh, we have the ride share programs and all of those different, I call them tools in a tool chest, but uh, learning about Waymo and self-driving technology itself, knowing that this piece, taking that decision out of a driver's hand, can just save so many lives. So we just knew that we had to get involved with that uh, and support that technology. So it, even if it saves one life, we're right. absolutely thrilled to be partnered I with I mean, them. it certainly is advanced technology. It's yeah. still so new. You know, we're learning a lot about it. But you do believe that it is safer for people. Absolutely. And you mentioned new. And, and uh, what I see and hear a lot, especially with our partnership, is people, when they it's a new technology, there's that fear of it. And I'll tell you, the first time I rode in one of those vehicles, I had a little bit of the fear myself. Mm -hmm. And it was the most amazing experience in seeing that these vehicles make thousands of decisions every second, takes that out of a driver's hand. Absolutely, I believe it will save right. lives. And, and the 17 year old who was in the other vehicle, do you think this would have changed things? Yes, it would have. They would have had an, a, a way out, um, a phone call, uh, you know, get that ride. If my daughter would have, no, if this technology would have been there, you know, 12 years ago, I would have had my daughter because she would have had a way home safe. Mm. It's tough to hear. Thank you so much for being with us, and we're going to continue to follow uh, this partnership and blessings to you and your family. If you would like more information about this initiative with MAD, please give them a call, 602-240-6500. You can also jump online and visit the website, mad.org slash az.